I am 99.9% .9 sure that if you did this, your mental and physical health will be 10 times better throughout this year and beyond. I have been doing my normal scroll through TikTok and social media throughout the beginning of the year and I must say I didn't realize how much everybody was like in a frenzy mentally i don't know if that's just because i've like been in a better headspace like within these last couple of months like i'm not gonna lie i've been in bad headspaces in dark time i, I guess i can say that i've learned how to kind of like overcome and kind of like control my mind and my thoughts i i, I i'm doing pretty good i must say i i i, I i'm gonna just leave myself like in the middle I feel like I've I've I've, I've kind of overcome a lot of things and some things and I'm just in a better headspace. So I figured uh, why not lend over some of that energy to help my girls and my guys out who are probably literally going through it right now mentally, especially in these very weird crazy times. What perfect way to do it while we are still kind of at the in the beginnings of the new year and giving you eight quick steps to a better life. Things that you can start implementing within this new year and beyond. I guess because I have been implementing these things kind of just like daily throughout my life and throughout my routine. I didn't notice like how much it had basically boosted my mental health. And so now that I'm kind of like on the other side and I'm looking at other people, I'm like, oh, like... Okay, so that really has been helping me. So here are my tips that I'm going to give you guys just to boost your mental and your physical health. Just a, li a little bit more. No, a lot of it actually. A hundred times better this year. Get seven to eight hours of sleep on a daily basis. In the world of hustle culture and late night doom scrolling, it is very, very, very important to set a like scheduled bedtime for yourself. Just get on a routine. So that way you can get that seven hours in, that seven or eight hours in. You can get up early if you're trying to be a 5 a.m., 4 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. girly. Then you need to be setting your, your bedtime schedule at a very good hour so that way you can hit those 5 a.m 6 7 8 a.m schedules i am a former 12 a.m waker upper girl i still have my moments i'm not gonna lie i ain't gonna sit up here and lie and say i don't still have my moments of waking up kind of you know late but if you do implement a bedtime it can definitely improve your mental health and you know help you to wake up early and be productive do a little workout okay get the muscles right and Get that booty tied in. Either wake up early and go to the gym. My best friend, Denisha, I'm going to put her somewhere on the screen. She is a, f a she is like a consistent girly when it comes to getting up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning to go to the gym. She lives in L.A. I am, of course, a mom, so my routine is a little bit different from hers. I don't just get up and go to the gym. But if you aren't able to get into the gym or you don't have time to, like, fit that into your schedule, maybe you have kids as well, do a little quick routine at home home do a at home workout routine because it definitely definitely helps out a lot especially when you combine it with waking up early even something as simple as doing a few little squats okay get that booty right you push up a couple of the jumping jacks just get some type of movement in this can definitely improve your mental health and get your body moving for the day now this next one is one that you guys know i have been trying to implement into my routine i have kind of had setbacks but it definitely does help one thing that I have been doing is just trying to cut out certain foods in my routine. You guys know I was going on a plant-based diet. Well, not even really diet, like a lifestyle. And I want to do an update video on that. It, it, it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. But just trying to like swap out different things and like kind of eliminate eating so much junk food in my routine has definitely helped me a lot. Swapping coffee for smoothies or like as I slowly try to cut off coffee and switch over to tea eliminating the sugar out of the coffee maybe only using creamer again trying out a more plant-based diet or if you want to go vegan whatever the case may be cutting out meat because at the end of the day you are what you eat and meat is definitely people don't realize that you basically are whatever the cow whatever the cow the chicken whatever they're not, they eating pig if they don't eat boo boo that's all going inside of your that's going inside of your body so you end up becoming whatever it is that you're eating the emotions that 
habits, the anger, however you're feeling in the inside, a lot of that is like an energy transfer from the animals and you have to think about that as well. So yeah, just be aware of the certain type of foods that you're eating, processed foods. I know it's so much fun to just go to the gas station, go to the corner stores, go to Walmart and like stack up on our favorite junk food, but just try to eliminate that out of your diet. Implement a smoothie, some more greens into your diet and see if your mental health improves. I'm telling you, it would do a number on your mental health. I think we underestimate the power of the things that we eat and how much it can just like improve our brain health. Get in one meditation per day. Like you just need to sit in silence without any distractions. You need to go within. Either that or listen to guided meditations or listen to affirmations. You need to be reprogramming your mind because if you're sitting there and you're just like sitting in your thoughts, you're letting your mind control you and tell you things that are not true, it can definitely take a toll on your mental health. So you need to find things that are going to help you to visualize your, your future self and not sit in like whatever your mind is saying because your mind likes to play tricks on you and tell you things that are not true if you will if you let it and you don't have control over it so yeah this helps a lot i had a friend that actually helped me with it like I, I already was good with it but it was actually good to hear it coming from a friend to like be like hey like we're like doing affirmations and basically he was just making me like say out loud the things that i wanted and what was already coming and things like like that so just like guiding me but yeah definitely meditate and listen to affirmations and yeah find friends that will hold you accountable and like help you to like stay grounded when it comes to that and when it comes to like reprogramming your mind another thing that i have done a lot of throughout my like mental health self-care spiritual journey is journaling doing the shadow work you have to do shadow work every now and then okay and journaling is a great way to do this just pouring your emotions all out on paper getting it all out saying whatever you have to say honey there has been some times where my hand was just you gotta let it out it's just the shadow work and i feel like it's very important to do that every now and then that's actually something that i need to check in and do for myself as of currently i haven't actually had a chance to do that this year i did a lot of it last year but yeah ch check in do your shadow work you know you got, you got to face yourself honey okay you gotta face yourself and that e get that ego of yours in check okay next on the list is to uh, practice self-love even if it's just for like 10 minutes a day i know it's so hard to just like pour into yourself when you already feel like you have an empty cup but that's the point of it all is to try to pour into yourself as much as you can say something positive about yourself like look in the mirror and say what you love about yourself you need to say these things out loud okay out loud i don't want to hear you whispering it you need to say these things out loud go buy yourself some flowers that's like one of my favorite activities to do go buy yourself some flowers take yourself on a solo date everything doesn't have to be about you being attached to friends family a man a woman like do things for yourself okay practice up love for at least 10 minutes out of your day i'm telling you it's going to improve your mental health oh like i was saying earlier in the in a world of tech social media doom scrolling go tech free for an hour before you go to sleep and an hour after you wake up so once you wake up don't just reach for your phone and an hour before you go to sleep tuck your phone away actually you don't even really need to be sleeping in the room with your phone that's another thing like don't don't sleep next to your phone like don't sleep with your head to your phone they picking up on, they they getting your dad for show sure. and what if what what if something happens to your phone what if it blows up and you sleeping next to your yeah. phone on the floor put don't even tuck it away okay so that way you don't reach for it during the nighttime when you're getting ready to go to bed and when you're waking up that can't just be the first thing that you reach for don't jump to your phone or your email and let me know if this improves your mental health or not i'm telling you it does i've done and it, it, it it's like it's like it resets my whole my days are just so much better when i don't just go straight to my phone so much better so try that let me know how it goes so next on the list is spending less time watching meaningless netflix i know we all love netflix i love you netflix we all love netflix but 
spend less time watching netflix and social media especially if you know your mind is just not where you want it to be some people may say that netflix is kind of like their thing where they like to chill and they kind of like rest their mind it can be i feel like maybe if you're watching something like documentaries or something that sort try to find something more meaningful than just meaningless things but i would recommend instead of just meaningless scrolling and you know shows is to try try a new skill try reading okay like I love reading. I've downloaded so many. And if you don't want to just go buy a bunch of books, which I really like buying. I like books. I like having the hardcover books and things of that sort. But if you don't, they have like different PDFs and ebooks that you can download and things like that on your phone. Well, you don't want to really be on your phone. But they have different books or audiobooks that you can listen to. So I say try reading, learning a new skill. I think a lot of the times when we're on these social media apps and i think i touched the touched on this in another video but when we're on these apps we kind of get caught up in other people's lives and not really focusing on ourselves or our mental health and it can make you kind of sad feeling like you're not where you want to be so i say yeah take a break from it sometimes and focus on learning a new skill somewhere that is going to help you to reach and get to where you want to be and get to becoming your higher self and a lot of people on social media just just have a lot of opinions it's just too many now everybody is just on there yapping and i appreciate it at some times but it's just a lot of trauma dumping and things so sometimes you just have to take a break you have to it will take a toll on your mind because everybody has like some type of debate or media is always trying to get your attention which is going to be another video that i'm going to talk, talk about as well but yeah so take a break go s learn how to sew learn a new skill your mental health will improve tremendously but last but not least the last one i have for you is just simple do some breath work do some breathing work just breathe take a break take a breath be thankful be grateful that you're here and i know there, you, there's times you feel like i don't want to be here but you're here for a reason you have a purpose and take a breath and a breather appreciate the breather appreciate the breath do some breath work that can help so much try some of these tips out these are definitely eight quick tips to a better life they these little just little habits just implementing these even if it's not every day every other day just trying to implement them into your week and definitely improve your mental health and your physical health a hundred times more i'm telling you it's helped me so much and i have more so i will do more videos if you guys want to see more videos like that make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one hopefully you guys enjoyed it share this video with somebody who you probably know needs it i feel like we all need it in a time like this so share the video because sharing is caring i love you guys stay safe stay happy stay healthy stay loving stay at peace keep your vibrations high and until the next one, I love you guys and I will see you at the top. Peace.